I got digital dash, can't ride with a up. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull out the lot. That Tiffany diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burned up the block. Straight. Burn out. Make one call, they turn out. See, see the gang, get the word out. When the shit get hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. Be high, I ride through your block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitches say. Leave a like on this video within the next five seconds for 2K to finally fix their servers. I would not risk it. Yo, what's the new YouTube? It's your boy Vince back in the video with yet another video today. I got y'all with a with a different video. I don't usually drop glitches on the channel. I think the last time I dropped a glitch was around this time, actually last year, to be honest. Like literally around the time all this pandemic stuff really started to start was last year. And this is pretty much a perfect time to do it again because 2K on Xbox, I know they just released the game on Game Pass for free. So a lot of people are getting the game for free and a lot of people are gonna have to be trying to grind out builds. So today I got y'all with a badge glitch to get your badges as quickly as possible. And this badge glitch is 100% legit. I got clips of me getting over almost 300K already. I'm already stacking it and stacking it still. I'm still in the process of stacking it all the way to when I get to max and stuff like that on multiple builds. And yeah, it's a really, really good badge glitch. If you wanna get your badges max, all you gotta do is watch this video. You don't need no method or nothing like that. Now, if you use a method, a badge method with it, it's gonna get you even more in that one game so that you can stack it and stuff like that because you are gonna be stacking your stuff from one game. And yeah, it's very, very easy and simple to do. Now, the only thing I would say about this badge glitch, to the beginning of it takes a little bit of time. Might take from 30 to an hour, depending on how fast you do it and how much you're paying attention. But yeah, it's a really good badge glitch when you get to it. And yeah, it's gonna be really, really helpful. But yeah, um, if you guys want more videos like this, like maybe a VC glitch that I can do, give y'all, all you gotta do is leave a like, subscribe. But yeah, man, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into the video. Alright, so first things first, when it comes to this badge glitch, what you want to do, first step, you're going to be having to make a new build. And by the way, this is on current gen. I didn't mention that in the intro, but I put that in on the poll, but yeah, it don't matter. But yeah, you don't want to make a new build. When it comes to this glitch, you can't do it on previous builds. It's not going to work. You got to make it do it on a new build. So yeah, make a new build. If you use a build that you're trying to make, that you have been wanting to grind and stuff like that, just go ahead, make a new build, all that. And then when it comes to the little screen that is asking you, do you want to skip my career? You do not want to skip the intro because you want to, the glitch is going to be when you get to college. So yeah, you do not want to skip the intro, but yeah, when it comes to all this stuff, you can't skip this entire thing. When it comes to like the little screen of him talking and he's at the press conference, you can literally hold a or X depending on what console you're on to skip that cutscene and yeah you want to get skip all the cutscenes that you can I'm just say that right now all right next now when it comes to being in the games you don't really need VC or anything you can be a 60 overall for this because all you're doing is going into these games and fouling out to get out these games as soon as possible and when you're on offense if you don't want to waste too much time you can just spam a for the ball and just go straight out of bounds when you're on defense foul literally that simple every single game you want to do that All right, now when you're in the second game, you're going to have to play this game at the end. Now, you can foul out all you want, but when it gets, it's going to pretty much do a sub. One of these games when I was doing it, I literally got all the way under two minutes, all the way under a minute, and they never fouled me and stuff like that. They never called timeout. They called timeout, they put me back to two minutes, but yeah, under two minutes is going to literally call a timeout. You're going to go in the game, and you're going to get injured. When you get injured, you're gonna have to play the rest of this game out. You can't foul out. If you just keep fouling, it's not gonna let you get out the game, so you might as well just go ahead and play the game. All right, so after that game, you're gonna wanna skip those cutscenes. Then when you get into this next game, you're gonna be on the bench. It's gonna be having cutscenes that you really can't skip, but if you can skip them, make sure you hold an A and X to make sure that you can skip them. And yeah, you're gonna be on the sidelines for pretty much a good amount of time. Now, when you get to halftime, they're gonna ask you, take the risk and enter the game. When it asks you this, you're going to want to say stay out of the game and be at full strength for the invitation. Why? Because it's not going to make you play that game. You're going to be able to just go straight through the next game. And, yeah, 
yeah it's gonna make you sit through this cutscene that you can't skip but yeah when you can skip it it's gonna pretty much take give you like the little my points in vc you're not gonna get anything for it because you didn't play and yeah it's gonna show you the school's interesting and stuff like that after that game you're gonna want to skip cutscenes again all right next when you get to the next game you're going to be on the brooklyn Nets court you're now gonna be able to foul out again this is just the fastest way to get to the glitch none of this fouling stuff is gonna be part of the glitch it's just the fastest way to get to the glitch that's why we're doing the fouls so yeah you want to foul out as quickly as possible um like i said if you want to get it done with fast as possible i didn't do this i was getting like stuff for it but yeah if you want to be able to get to the glitch as fast as possible you can just run out of bounds instantly let the offense have a ball foul simple as that and all right after that game you're gonna have even more cutscenes. you want to skip those but when you get to the screen of colleges when it comes to picking your college you want to go to an exact college I don't know if it works on any of the other colleges I just know for a fact it works for Gonzaga so yeah you want to go to Gonzaga I know for a fact the glitch works at Gonzaga so yeah pick Gonzaga Bulldogs then when it comes to the first game, I'm not really sure if you can foul out of this game. So I just played it and I just played the whole game. It's really only one quarter. It's not that long in comparison to all the other games. It's literally only one quarter. So just go ahead, play that game. And you're going to be able to even get a badge if you're really good enough in this game and stuff like that. So yeah, just go ahead, play that game out. And then after that game, if you really want to upgrade your player so you can get as much XP as possible, because this is the game that you're going to be doing a glitch. It's the second game in college. The second game in college is the one where you're going to be doing a glitch. So if this is what this is the place where you want to get your animations, your player up, all that. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can still keep stacking it up off being a 60 overall. It's just going to get you more if you already have like a way higher overall with attributes and stuff like that and animation so that you can do it a lot easier but you don't have to necessarily do that now when you're in the game you're gonna after you skip all them cutscenes this is where you're gonna be wanting to get as much xp as possible now that's why i said you don't have to use the method but you can so if there's a certain build that you have if you made like a play sharp you're gonna want to go for playmaking and shooting badges that's gonna get you as many my points as possible and it's also going to be getting you as many badge upgrades as possible in that two categories now if you want to go for as many categories as possible you can go for as many categories as possible but yeah if you do it with a, ba a badge method it's gonna make it a lot easier i might have the link to my badge methods in the description i might be updating that soon too but yeah i do have some badge method that's all that's gonna be useful for this too so i might put that in the description and in the comments down below but yeah that's going to make this a lot easier now when it comes to this game you're going to want to play this game out get as do as well in this game as possible get a high grade get as many assists get as many points as many rebounds as many steals as many blocks you want to do everything that you possibly can in this game to get as many my points as many badge points as possible all right, so one time when I did this glitch, it literally subbed me out with like two minutes left and it didn't put me back in the game. So this might be a little bit of a risk, but nine times out of 10, it's not gonna do that. So around the time that you wanna save and exit, cause you wanna save and exit at a certain point so that you can load back up. So what I did was I tried to save as close to the 20 second mark as possible. So what you wanna do is when you have the ball, around 40 to 20 seconds that's when you want to save and exit because when you save and exit that's going to be what your load up point to keep doing a glitch at all right next after you save and exit all you want to do is load back up on the player that you're doing the glitch on when you load back up on the player that you're doing the glitch on it's going to be putting you back to around the 40 to 20 second mark whatever the last out of bounds was and you just want to play that end of the game out and then as you go to the end of the game you're going to be pretty much able to just see how many my points how many badge points you earn how many shooting playmaking all that and as soon as you see the vc pop up as soon as the vc pops up you want to close app whether you're on xbox whether you're on playstation it doesn't matter just close your app and yeah load 2k back up and as soon as you load 2k back up you want to click back on the player that you're doing the glitch on and you can just do that again you can raise and repeat this 10 times a day every 24 hours now one thing i noticed when it came to it it's not going to just not say that you was on it so the last time you do it it's going to stay a time stamp by it's going to be like last play month day and pretty much a year and then it's going to have a time 
So you can pretty much see that time the last time you did it out on the 10th time to know when you can start back doing it for the 24 hours. So you can use that as a reference. Now, like I said, you can do this 10 times, 24 hours, just keep stacking and stacking and stacking and stacking and stacking and stacking. You can literally do this till you have max badges for every category. You can do this for 99 overall. And we're pretty much it's easiest for 95. But yeah, 99 might be I mean, actually, yeah, you can do it to 95. I don't know about 99. But yeah, it's going to be really, really beneficial because not only are a lot of people getting the game for free right now, but yeah, it's very, very beneficial. Like I said, I've been stacking it for a little while and I got it to a really high my point total right now. So yeah, yeah, I'm going to be showing y'all proof of how much my points I've gotten and stuff like that. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much the bad glitch. It's pretty simple. The only difficult thing or not difficult thing. But yeah, the only difficult thing is really the time, like the time to get from making your build to getting to the actual glitch. That's the only nuisance of this. Just going in and loading up after you save and exit the first time, that might be a difficult thing trying to make sure that you can get to the point to save and exit because I had to on one of my builds when they did that little sub out, I had to literally replay the whole game. But yeah, when I replayed the whole game, I actually did a lot better. So that actually helped me. But yeah. Um, that's pretty, it's pretty much a simple glitch. It just takes a little bit of time to just keep going in, low nap, closing. And sometimes it's going to freeze you on your teams. That's another thing. If it does that, what I do to try to fix that, I press the Xbox button and it just loads up. It just loads up. Sometimes that doesn't work, but yeah, it, nine times out of 10 that works. But yeah, that is pretty much the badge glitch. Like I said, if you guys want more videos like this, wink, wink the VC glitch. All you got to do is smash the like button on this video. I'm going to say, let's shoot for 500 likes. If y'all get this to 500 likes, I got y'all with a VC glitch. It's that simple. But yeah, that is the best badge glitch in the game. If you haven't already, leave a like, subscribe. We're on the road to 100K. 75K, I got a big banger week coming very soon. If y'all think this was a banger, stay tuned. I'm going to be coming at y'all with some crazy, crazy videos coming soon. And yeah, um... Y'all don't want to miss that, so turn on post notifications to be the first to every single one of my videos. Share this video to anybody you think this will help. But yeah, man, it's your boy, Fitz, man. And I'm about to be, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! <laughs>before we go too far into this video i want to make sure to go over this now we were at 4.2 percent we're all the way up to 9.7 percent but still 90 percent of y'all that are watching my videos aren't even subscribed i know y'all mess with the videos we're gonna be going so crazy so you might as well hit that sub button is that simple